Write a C program to rearrange even and odd elements of an array. I'll give you a brief overview of what we will be accomplishing with our program. First, we take a for loop and point to a of 0, which is even number. So we increment it. So a of 1 is odd. So we store that in i and start comparing from bottom. So a of 9 is odd. So we decrement it. So a of 8 is even. So we swap these two values. So we continue doing that until the top has even numbers and the bottom has odd numbers. So that's what we need to accomplish using our code. So let's see how we can do that. As you might already know, we manage size of an array using macro. So we will assign 10 to n. Let me declare an array variable a of n, variable i to point to the index 0, j to point to the last element of the array, and a variable to swap these two elements if required. Now I'll ask the user to enter percentage d integer numbers, the value of which is present inside the macro n. Let me write the regular for loop pointing i to the first element till i is less than n, which is last element. For each iteration, increment the value of i by 1. And store the user entered integer number inside a of i address of variable a of i. So once this iteration is complete, a of n will have 10 integer numbers. Now the important logic, let me point i to 0 and iterate this until i is less than n. And for each iteration, increment the value of i by 1. Now it's even important. The second for loop, j points to the last element of this array and it executes until j is greater than i. If i is 4, j iterates from 9 to 5 in opposite direction so j minus minus okay so observe here very carefully the inner for loop and the outer for loop for each selection of element by the outer for loop inner for loop executes until j is greater than i okay so without understanding this don't move any further okay so inside this i'll check if the selected element by the outer for loop which is a of i percentage modulo 2 not equal to 0 that means the outer loop selected element is an odd number and the inner loop for loop selected number is a even number if both these conditions are true remember outer for loop selects one element and inner for loop checks that selected element against all the elements present below it. So if both these conditions are met, both these conditions are true, then swap the values selected by a of i and a of j using temporary variable temp. In that case, a of i will have odd number, a of j will have even number. So that's it. This will do the job, but it's highly inefficient. It, it iterates through this array unnecessarily. But, but before that, let's check the result, if it even works. So iterate this for loop until i is less than n and print all the elements from 0 to 9. So this should actually work even though it's inefficient way of doing stuffs. But let us see, I'll give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So after swapping, after sorting, top has even numbers and bottom has odd numbers. Interestingly it works. But let's try to improve the code. Look at this code, what's the obvious thing you could improve? What's the need to check it against all the other elements below it? It's unnecessary, right? So let me have a if condition here. If the outer for loop selected element is odd number, if it's odd number, then only start executing this inner for loop to check against all the other elements below it, okay? If it's a of 0, which is 10, what's the need to check it against all the other elements below it? Unnecessary, right? So check if only the outer for loop selected element is an odd number, 
so let's see if this works i'll give one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so after sorting top has or even numbers and bottom has odd numbers great but this time around we reduce the number of looping significantly okay so now let's see how we could even improve it here j is equal to n minus 1 is initialized every time this for loop executes for every selection of for every execution of this outer for loop inside inner for loop j is again initialized to n minus 1 which is unnecessary because the last element might have already been sorted so what's the need to check against that again right so let's do one thing we shall cut this off j is equal to n minus 1 let us initialize that only once outside this external for loop now let the condition be the same j greater than i so the condition is same j greater than i so the last thing j minus minus should be written somewhere within while loop now because we need to reduce the number of the value of j for each iteration of this while loop now so after if if i write j minus minus does that work think this is while loop okay it keeps on iterating until j is greater than i so simple fix is if you do swapping once if swapping occurs that is a of j modulo division 2 is 0 in that case a of j is a of j is even number and you decide to swap that with an odd number selected by the outer for loop then just make sure to break out of this while loop don't check any further before that just reduce the value of j by 1 and break because the j minus minus present after if condition doesn't execute if you break break out of that while loop okay so let's see if it works uh, looks fine to me so i'll give 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 again we have even numbers at the top and odd numbers at the bottom again we reduced the number of iterations now one more thing we are executing this outer for loop again till i is less than n which is again unnecessary because a lot of elements from the bottom has already been sorted out so let's make sure i is less than or equal to j okay the value of j is nothing but it's equal to the number of sorted elements from the bottom so let's check the result now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 again the top elements are even and the bottom elements are odd this is not a huge advancement because inside first for loop we already are checking for if e of i actually holds odd number okay but nonetheless that for loop execution is reduced considerably so now let me give 11 10 13 12 and 15 with just one swap this thing get gets sorted out the top has even numbers and the bottom has odd numbers so let me explain this stuff once again to you the first for loop is to take 10 in this case 5 now because n is 5 so 5 integer numbers now j is initialized to last element of the array i is initialized to first element of the array and now the external for loop selected element that is a of i is odd number okay so we are checking that inside if condition this for loop executes until i is less than or equal to j so if that selected element is an odd number then only execute this while loop or else just increment the value of i and and select the odd number and then only execute this while loop whenever i has e of i has odd number so now 
while j is greater than i check if the element selected from the bottom which is present inside a of j is actually even number in that case swap it and make sure the even number goes to the top and the odd number comes to the bottom and break out of this while loop by decrementing the value of j by 1 just by 1 okay now once again increment the value of i don't decrement or change reinitialize the value of j because the value of j represented represents the the index up to which from bottom has been already sorted okay so don't reinitialize the value of j once again once all the elements are sorted just print those things out to the console window using another for loop that's it very simple so i'll give random numbers 55 62 33 10 22 with only one swap this thing got sorted out 22 62 are even and 10 are even 33 and 55 are odd let me change this to 10 now and give some 10 random integer numbers i'll just type something 55 6 69 1 2 3 4 47 maybe 59 54 28 and let's check this 28 6 54 2 are even numbers which are on the in the top 1 3 47 59 69 55 are odd numbers which are at the bottom so this is how we sort a random collection of elements inside an array to even and odd even numbers at the top and odd numbers at the bottom okay so thanks for watching Please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes and discussion about this topic. Stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Please share this video with your friends on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, WhatsApp, Telegram, etc. And do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.